Reflection and refraction are a pair of phenomena that waves undergo. Uh, they're both the result of waves being instant upon uh, a different medium or a different material to that which they're already travelling through. For example, if they're currently travelling through air and they are instant upon glass or water, or they might be travelling through the vacuum of space and then become instant on the air of our atmosphere, so on and so forth. Um, so we'll start by having a look at reflection. Uh, this is something you'll be quite familiar with from day-to-day -day life. And when a ray is instant upon a surface, in this case we're going to have a look at a mirror, um, then the ray will be reflected back off of that surface. Um, so here we've got this flat surface, we're travelling from air to this glass which is lined with a bit of metal that makes up the mirror and we can see that the light ray comes in and then is bounced back off and with reflection uh, we can have a look at the angle that the ray is instant at so here we've got theta i for instant and theta r for reflected and during reflection these two angles will be exactly the same so whatever angle we come in at is the same as the angle we go out at and during this reflection and refraction, refraction we're going to typically measure it uh, by looking at the angle to the normal. So if this is our surface of the interface between the two different types of material, between the two media, the normal is the line at 90 degrees to that where the ray is instant. And we typically measure the angle to that normal. So you can see here this theta i is the angle between the ray and this vertical line rather than the ray and the mirror itself. Uh, refraction is where rather than bouncing off the ray continues into the medium um, but it will bend, it will change its angle depending on the medium. So we would loosely uh, relate this to density or optical density. We can uh, actually quantify this with a number known as refractive index and so um, when we go from a less dense material such as air into a more dense material such as water um, then what typically happens is that the ray will bend towards the normal. So again, we've got the interface here. Uh, so this is the interface between the air and the water, or it might be glass or something like that. And this is our normal at 90 degrees. And so we've measured the angle of instant if the ray is coming in like this and then continuing like that. So we've got a line here representing the ray, comes in, then bends towards the normal, so it gets closer to the normal. A ray going the other way, of course, goes the other way. So if we go from a more dense medium uh, to a less dense medium, then we bend away from it. Um, and so this is why it's hard, for example, to try and hit fish underwater. Uh, so if we were a person and we had our eyes here, uh, we're seeing down here and our eyes assume that light travels in straight lines. So if there was a fish here, we're seeing it because uh, the ray uh, comes uh, is traveling along here. So the ray comes from the fish up here to our eye. So the, the arrows here would be reversed. Light comes from the fish up to the surface, bends away from the normal and into our eye. But our eye assumes that light travels in straight lines. And so our eye will assume that this light has actually come in this straight line and assumes that the fish is going to be here and the ray has come in a straight line like this. So that's why uh, if you go fishing, if you're standing above a pond or a river and you see a fish and you're stuck on a desert island and you need to catch it, then you need to aim your spear slightly below the fish, otherwise you're actually going to have the spear sail straight over the fish. So this is refraction. Um, note also the two different ways that we've represented the waves here. So this uh, red line, as we had on the previous slide with the refraction, um, is a ray representation, so a single straight line going along the path of the motion. Then these parallel lines up here uh, is a wavefront representation. So we call them wavefronts, but you can imagine we're looking down on the top of a pond and each of these lines represents the peak of a wave. So we've got a peak here, we go into a trough, peak, trough, peak, trough, peak, so on and so forth. 
and you can see that at this boundary, at this interface, they are again bending. And in bending, we also uh, change the wavelength. The frequency here and here will be the same, but the uh, lambda, the wavelength, is reduced because the cause of this bending is a change in the speed. So in air, for example, um, the speed of, uh, if this was light, is almost exactly the same as the speed in a vacuum, which would be about 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, whereas if this is glass, that might be reduced to something like 2 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So quite a large reduction, and that change in speed in the different densities in the different media is the cause of this bending phenomenon. Uh, but we don't just have refraction or reflection. What happens at any surface, here we've got again a glass air surface, is we get both reflection and refraction. So at this surface, some of the light, we've got this ray instance, some of the light gets reflected. And again, this angle and this angle will be identical. But some of the light will be transmitted into the glass, and in doing so, it will bend. And because the glass has a higher refractive index, is more dense than the air, this ray has bent towards it. So uh, if I label this I and R with a L, um, then the angle of incidence is going to be equal to the reflected angle but the refracted angle is going to be less than the angle of instance in this case. So we come in and it bends towards the normal. Now, the relative strengths of this, so if we were to measure the brightness of this instant ray and combine the brightness of these two, we should get the same number. So when the brightness comes in, some of it goes through, some of it gets reflected. Sometimes we get a bit absorbed, but in general, the brightness of this is going to be the same as the sum of the brightnesses of these two. Um, but which of these rays is brighter depends on a lot of factors. It depends in part on this angle and it depends in part on the density of the medium. So if we come in at a really shallow angle, what we tend to get is that uh, or large angle compared to the normal. So if we have a ray coming in here, what we tend to get is a large portion of it will be reflected and only a little bit of it will be refracted. If we come in quite a shallow angle, so almost normal to the surface, then we get quite a large portion of the ray transmitted and only a bit reflected. If this is a really dense medium, then we get a large portion of the ray reflected um, than we would if it was a less dense medium. So this is reflection and refraction. Reflection is, uh, they're, they're both phenomena that occur when a ray, um, this could be light, but this could also be sound instant upon a window, it could be any type of ray any type of wave going between two different mediums, two different material types. Uh, and at that surface, at that boundary, some of the ray gets reflected, and some of the ray goes into the material but gets bent slightly, and that's the refraction. 